Mechi was deeply diabetic. Therefore, you cannot even cut him. If you lay any knife on Amechi Monago, he will not get healing. Even the doctors who were handling him knew this because I was there on the 2nd of December in the company of Bobmane Ludoku and uh, Chinedu Kedieze and of course, Ejamat, one of our patrons. From the day I went to that hospital was when we began to raise funds for him directly to his account because we needed him to see if they could resuscitate some of those organs in his body. We have often said from our position in the guild that before we get to that point where we are asking for fund to take you to any hospital abroad, we must have an overview of what it will cost. We'll have a doctor's reference. We'll have the prognosis of the patient. There was a time we wanted to fly Ibu abroad, but when we escalated the doctor's reference and his prognosis, almost all the hospitals in India and America rejected him and said, whoever that has this prognosis cannot survive flights to any country. Amechi was, you see, because of the internet age, people just want to grow their page on the internet and they can spew nonsense. That was why somebody woke up yesterday morning, Tuesday, and claimed that Zakoji had passed on. Then I quickly reacted. Zak is never in a position of uh, seriously needing an attention as to speak. If not because of uh, privacy, I would have just connected him on phone here on video. You see him. He just needs a post-surgery evaluation abroad, which we are gradually putting together funding to send him abroad for that. He has survived two brain surgeries. He is in good health. He is speaking. He is talking. I call him now. We speak and all of that. For somebody to wake up and say that Zach has passed on is inhuman. Zach is alive. You see, because of the internet.